Ladies and gentlemen, I have just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story. I need you all to stop what you are doing and listen. Unhuman Cannonball! So I'm here with Stu, head brewer of Magic Rock and head brewer of this wonderful thing, Unhuman Cannonball. Now first tell me why. Why a triple India Pale Ale? Um, because we've already got a, an India Pale Ale and a double India Pale Ale, so we wanted to do a triple. The next step was triple. So what, what, what does triple mean? It's just bigger. It's just that next step bigger. So the the, the, the regular cannonball is seven half percent. Um, the human cannonball is uh, about nine point two, mm -hmm. and then the the, uh, the triple is um, eleven percent this year. So what do you have to do different to make it triple? More malt, more hops, more everything. More malt, a bit more sugar. Boost the um, boost the gravity to give us more ferment more fermentable sugars uh, for the yeast. Get, keep the ABV up. Um, more bitterness, more hops. The dry hop that's a crucial part of it. There's um, three times more hops in total in this than there is in Cannonball. So how how many hops is that? Can you put it like you know everyone says like football about, pitches it's about that much. It's about that much. Yeah, like that. Enough to kill a man if it fell on them. Oh yeah, yeah definitely. That's the kind of hop that I like. Yeah. So what hops are in it? So this year um, we've got um, Simcoe, Amarillo, um, Chinook and Centennial. They're the main um, main hops that, uh, that you're going to be able to actually taste uh, in, from the dry hop. So there's more? Four. Yeah, just those four. Just those four? Just those four and then I think in the hop back was um, Citra, Columbus and uh, Centennial. Why are there so many C's in the hop world? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know where the naming thing comes from, but um, as far as I, I can, I can tell, the American seas are the better, the best hops. Yeah, really. I think they with probably the, with the Amarillo and the Simcoe, definitely. We call them the big seas. Yeah. So, what do you smell and what do you taste when you drink this beer? Can I you lovingly as you do that? Hops. Hops. Yeah. What comes out most? Hops. <laughs> the hop. I, I get. I think there's quite a lot of orange in there. Yeah. Maybe I'm wrong. I would say hops. Just hops. I'm uh, probably the worst brewer ever for identifying <laughs> um, actual, in, like sort of individual flavours and uh, aromas. But it's quite refreshing with 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 a with a beer that's hopped that much. Yeah. To be able to just go, yeah, it's just hops. Yeah, to be honest. That's what it's aiming. That's yeah. Aim to be. This, the beer is brand new at the moment, so the the aim for us when we're brewing it is to make it just taste of hops, because in a month it yeah. won't just yeah. taste of hops. It'll start developing and changing and um, so would would you age that would you would you sit not. in absolutely not no anybody anybody who drinks anybody who's got a bottle of that unopened after the recommended drink before date of, of what is it uh, where, where does it say? or august it's there august i think august. august yeah anyone who's got a bottle of that beer that's not been opened after that date is a fool <laughs> Consider yourself warned. You're yeah. a fool. You're a fool. We, we wanted to make more on Human Cannonball this year, so we didn't take any beer off to make another beer out of it. Because it, it sold out in about 20, 20, 20 minutes, 20 I think, online. Even this year it was pretty yeah, swift. it was 23 minutes last year, 19 minutes, I was told, this morning. Um, <laughs> Well, that's only 120 bottles. It's oh, okay. not really a lot of beer. So, how, um, how much did you produce? It's about 840 bottles, and then there's about 27 kegs. The difference between last year and this year, I think we've got about 100 more bottles this year. Okay. Um, but we've got about 20 more kegs of it, so it's getting spread out all over the country. That was that's the main difference. Last year there were five kegs. Two of them were on here for the launch. Two of them went to another launch. I think 
maybe one of them went to a beer festival somewhere, that was it, the whole thing had gone. So lucky beer this, festival. This year there are kegs up in Scotland, there are kegs in, there's going to be kegs in Bristol, there are going to be kegs all over bars in London as well uh, in the next few weeks. Um, Manchester, Leeds, Sheffield, there's going to be a keg in Huddersfield in the Grove as well, so there's going to be plenty of the beer around for people to get to try. Um, I think, I think maybe we'll do more bottles. Maybe, maybe we should put. I think, a, I think you a should. A couple of hundred bottles on the website. I think, um, I think it's a bit of a, it's a, it's a bit of a, bit of an amazing thing to, to for people to suddenly buy those. You know, buy those beers so quickly at seven o'clock this morning. I know who's thinking about beer that early. Like Bailey's only cocoa pops, sure. Yeah. Beer, beer, beer. Well, actually, beer at any time of day is great. I don't know what I'm saying here. I'm yeah, selling for Bailey's. That's not what I meant. Um, well, thank you. It's a beautiful, beautiful beer. I'm already counting days, down the days. I'm already slurring, actually, but I'm also counting down the days to the next on Human Cannonball. Uh, so thank you very much for providing us with an, a second Christmas just before <laughs> Easter.